In the last lesson, we discussed the shapes of the triads, major triads, minors, and diminished chords. Now, if you lay one over the other, you have a concept of pl plurality, which, is, which gives you extended chords. In other words, a major chord, C major, and a minor chord, E minor, starting from the third of the chord, gives you a C major seven chord. So a, a minor on top of a major, when you put them together, the concept of plurality. In other words, here's an E minor chord, but it's the top of the C major seven. E diminished is the top of a C seven. So all diminished chords, all diminished chords are top of, of seven chords. All minor chords are top of major seven chords. They're opposite. Minor on top gives you a C major seven. Diminished chord built from the third up gives you a seven chord. Same shape, there's C7, here's F major seven with A minor involved in the plurality, which gives you the major seven. The diminished chord gives you the seven. So study your shapes and you can see these chords come right out of, right off the keyboard. Because remember the composer is, this is what they're viewing as they, as they build their progression, build their melodies. They're kind of looking at shapes and patterns. So these are major and minor chords. Let's take B minor, built off of the G. Off the third of G, gives you G major seven. Minor, gives you the major seven. If I put a major chord, B flat major, off the third of G, G minor seven. So just remember that opposite. In the Let's Enjoy Piano Self-Expression Method, page 55 in the plurality section, goes through this concept and how it's built up. The plurality rules of, on top of a minor seven chord, the the top part of a minor seven is a major chord. The top part of a major seven is a minor chord. G major seven, B minor. G minor seven, B flat major. So within a minor seven chord is a major. Within a major seven chord is a minor. Once you know the shapes, you'll be able to play with your right hand um, adjust the patterns and get the different sounds. Okay, so those are your three extended chords from C major seven, C seven, C minor seven with E flat, all based off the third. G major seven, G minor seven, G7, diminished chord. It depends on where we start our hand. If we move our hand up and we start off the fifth of the chord, let's say C, we're starting with G, we, have, we, we can reach the nine up here. So within the nine chord, you can see now is a major, a diminished shape, and a minor shape. And when you have a diminished and a minor together, it's called half diminished. And that's making the extended chord of a nine. There's C9, here's F9. Starting from the third, A diminished, C minor. G, G7, G9. You have a D minor, and you're a B, B diminished. So you can see how one chord flows right into the next by knowing your triad shapes. Playing the root in the left hand and the triad in the right hand. C minor seven. C major seven. 
C7. When you add your pinky in, you have the 9. F9, I mean C9, F9, G9. And as you raise your right hand to the next level, you get the 11 chord and the 13 chord because now you've expanded out the entire scope, the entire spectrum. So here's C6, I mean C7, C9, move it up, C11, that's 11 away. And within the entire scope, if you look at the entire picture, you have a G minor chord and a B flat chord. A triad within a triad, within a seven. And if I expand it out where I start my thumb on the seven, I have C13 with a B flat and a D minor. So they're all based on, again, that, that wonderful magic of the skip. Everything is based on skips and patterns and shapes. Diminished chords. That's a quick introduction to plurality and extended chords, and we'll delve into that further as time goes on. Hope you saw the picture of the magic of the skip and the triads, how they're built on each other. And once you know your major shapes, minor and diminished shapes, you'll be able to add your, all your chords together and come up with those extended sounds, which really make, make things really nice and nice voicings. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. and. Uh, We'll continue at a later date with some other specifics. If you have any questions, please write in what different lessons you'd like to see, and I'll take it from there. Thank you very much.